Oh look, another boring mono tribe video. Um, what I did here is I've added a bunch of stuff. I've mangled my mono tribe. Uh, we're gonna call it the Mangle Tribe. Um, first thing I will show you is I have individual outputs for each of the synth sections. Um, you know, square wave, triangle wave, whatever. Um, there's the square, triangle, and then the sawtooth. So we'll hear that. And of course, everything is before the filter. And then here. And then this is uh, whatever one is selected uh, after the filter, I think, after the uh, VCO, I mean LFO. I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is the VCO. Don't talk to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then I, then I have a global mute, which only, should only apply to the, to the currently selected voice, so you can still use the individual voices as outputs. So basically, this is tied to whatever... Is, yeah, I'll show you. See, that one works now. But this is always going to be muted by the global mute. And I love how it fades in. That's pretty badass. And then, these are the individual drums. You can hear that... You can hear they're fairly quiet. That's the hi-hat. Um, and I have some hi-hat switches. Uh, the snare is... The snare it bleeds in quite a bit, um, and that's because of how things are wired up. Uh, but it's actually okay. Um, that's decay, um, and that what that does is it blends the snare noise and the hi hat noise. So yeah, these are decay switches. Back to standard decay. Then the next one out is now that's just the snare noise. You can set the decay on it. Um, and that what that does is it blends the hi-hat and the snare noises. So I'll go back to the hi-hat with that switch on. And just compare the difference. It adds a nice kind of... Changes the tone. It seems to change the beat a little bit, too. And that's just the snare out, and is and I also added a snare decay mod. So that's kind of standard snare. Right here, back it off a little bit. Almost that's self oscillation, I think. And then of course the bass drum. I didn't add bass drum decay mod. I wasn't too impressed with it when I tried it. I'm going to do it later. I just, I, I didn't have a pot, and I didn't feel like I'm, I'm waiting for an order for from DigiKey to come in. Um, so then, other outputs we added, I added, we, my ass, um, are this is and this one. Yeah, so. Uh, and this is before filter. Um, anyway, and so uh, so that's the that's actually the VCO before the filter, and mixed with the uh, mixed with the drums. Um, it's just much louder than the drums are uh, there. But so back into okay. Now now the drums should work. I was, I was, I was, you won't hear the drums if it's uh, if the snare drums. You can hear them there. Anyway, um, oh yeah, that's the interesting bit is when everything's stopped, it's always running. They're running through this nice little cycle at the tempo. It, it, it's completely tempo independent. It's just this. I'm not sure what it's doing actually. It's nice because you can hear the difference between the different waveforms. And that's muted, of course. 
So now, we should here. Okay, so that is, um, I'm really screwing this up. That is muted now. And, um, so you can finally use this as, as you'd like. Um, you can use it with an external keyboard, um, which I have, oh, I forgot the mission. I have added MIDI in and out. So I'll turn this up. And you see, I'm not touching the keyboard. Um, and that's just being controlled by the MIDI out. That's nice because it And then, of course, uh, this is MIDI. One second. Just gonna swap the in and out. So now, uh, the internal synth. I'm gonna control it with this keyboard. <laughs> One second, please. So, yeah. And pitch mod works, which is pretty cool. I'll shut the volume off. It was a fairly easy... Fairly easy modification to set up. Um, a little time consuming. To drill the, the holes. Yeah. To drill the holes and to um, building the circuit is a lot easier than it could So that's just the external keyboard being controlled by the MIDI, MIDI out.